Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO coming back at y'all with another Black Clover video. And today we're gonna be talking about spoilers for Black Clover Chapter 335. I went through it and it's heat. It definitely is. You know, as always, support the officials when they come out on Sundays. But if you if you wanna, you know, get some spoilers ahead of time, I'm gonna tell you pretty much just with the chapter, some of the things in the chapter. And with that being said. Let's get right into the video. Now we know the last chapter Asta faced off against Lucius and pretty much at the end of the chapter they had a a major blow to Asta. And in this chapter Asta in the in in the beginning pretty much he's like not yet, it's not over. He's still alive. He he did not die from that hit even though Lucius says that he's going to be dead soon. At this moment in time Asta is still alive and he's pretty much still trying to fight now granted in this panel he does not look too good i'm gonna go ahead and put this panel on screen i can't put every panel on, on screen of course but you know i'm gonna put some of them on screen but he's looking pretty pretty messed up like that hit did some damage pretty much and we got some we got some dialogue towards asta and from lucius and he says don't be so hard on yourself you don't even have the strength to move anymore you only have a few minutes left to live, Asta. Now, Asta is pretty much fighting against this. He's like, no way I'm dying here. There's no way. That's pretty much, you know, the conflict there. And I think, I think Asta, actually in the end of the chapter, at the end of the chapter, they do have something that's heat. But I don't want to say it right now in case, you know, anybody want to, get it more into the sequence of events that it actually takes place but at the end of the chapter it's so heat like i can't wait to talk about that part right there but lucius explains a lot of things in this chapter i feel like tabata did a really good job because right now in the story like this is climactic stuff right here and it's kind of like unfolding how everything ended up happening according to lucius like his master plan like he really did a lot and lucius is very strong as i'm gonna get to in a second but pretty much we know he transformed sister lily in the last chapter he thinks that that is the true form of humanity and that's how he pretty much wants humanity to be now he he goes on to explain a little bit more in this chapter so i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all some of his dialogue so in this chapter lucius explains that he can pretty much use his power to purify the devil's power so it seems like he wants to use the devils in order to create stronger humans in his image you know he wants to basically improve humanity in his own sense so he basically purified beelzebub and used it on sister lily so she has pretty much she has spatial magic now so that is crazy she is strong right now okay we see her and noel actually get in a fight in this chapter and i'm telling you guys this form of sister lily is strong she does some crazy stuff in this chapter and then noel is coming in and she's like okay i gotta help asta and then she says what is the meaning of this who are you basically everybody is having the same reaction to lucius because it's 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 the same body as julius which is the leader of the clover kingdom he's the wizard king and so everybody's definite that's something everybody's going to be confused about once they see lucius that's going to be like a common thing because when you really think about it like they have no knowledge of this yet so I, it, it goes on and lucius says he took control of the remaining supreme devils of the underworld and all of the other ones in the levels below so he basically controls the entire underworld all of the devils that is insane guys he controls all of the devils and he's planning on using them to fuse them pretty much with humans using his soul magic and make the humans stronger because lily is very strong now that she has this power and it, it's just it's just wow because the fact that devils were regarded as the apex of strength in this series so far like the devils were just insanely powerful and to say this man just completely took control of all of them and he can do anything that he wants with them and in this case he's going to try to make the humans stronger by using them so he goes on to say what humans are in his image in his new image and he says that using the devils 
the humans will become a new higher life form with nearly invincible bodies and great wisdom so we know that his siblings had body magic and you know the the attributes of to create a human so that's kind of like foreshadowing and it kind of just all connects and makes sense basically he says that sister lily is the first one of the humans that he plans to create and he says they're gonna fight for this new world and then he says i will rule this world it doesn't even compare to the wizard king so he's basically saying like he's on a completely different level than all of the wizard kings which is insane once again like we're getting up there because julius himself we're getting up there because even looking as far back as the first wizard king he was insanely strong julius insanely strong julius considered himself the wizard king so this form right here lucius is considering himself even greater than julius and julius was insanely strong the first wizard king was insanely strong so this guy's on a completely different level i mean he took lucifero purified him using his and use uses his power now that's that's insane this guy's on a different level so the fact that asta can even put up somewhat of a fight and still be alive that that also tells us how strong asta has gotten so it looks like mimosa secre and noel try to stop sister lily and lucius but sister lily just completely flexes on them they it, it's crazy she literally freezes them pretty much in in spatial magic they can't move they're trapped in a cube it's insane to witness sister lily being this powerful now think about this if lucius was to do something similar to another human who's who's already base stronger than sister lily i wonder how powerful that would be like imagine if yami had beelzebub you know what i mean that's the type of stuff i'm talking about right now that would be insane but that's that's something entirely different let's get back to the spoilers of this chapter so sister lily is actually behaving kind of uh i guess you could say normally in a sense and and when i when i say that i mean it's a a, a big contrast compared to whenever laura petrica got her devil form right laura petrica seemed more like she wasn't aware but sister lily seems very aware she says my magic is unraveling it's a cage where space is severed for me to be able to use such magic lucia sama is truly wonderful so she's actually seeming happy to have had this upgrade done she's she's she really seems like she's acting normally and asta is saying that he's going to save her that's because asta probably believes she is trapped in in some sense like this isn't her true wishes it's like they were going to try to finish off asta but asta actually gets teleported out of there and right after that the magic knight captains assemble they come in this time they have william and yami they're going to be fighting off against lucius because they go in there like what is going on the julius is this is this who is this basically they're so they're so confused because they're like okay this looks like julius this is his body right this is julius's body but it doesn't feel like him the key is different the the magic is different but they're they're on to him at this point right he's out in the open he's been revealed and they just have to put the pieces together but they definitely know something is up and yami is yelling he's like that face and body and he's not happy yami is the type of person who if he if he trusts in you you don't want to break that trust in the sense that he really believed that so the fact that he thinks this is julius he thinks that he's being betrayed so he's not yami is not with the betrayals you know what i mean like think about the type of character the type of person that yami is like he would never betray anybody that especially somebody that he values so he's like what is going on you know he he really he really feeling it you know julius took him in this is probably a shock to yami but we got the magic knights captains here man and it's gonna be a good fight going down hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and leave it a thumbs up comment and subscribe as always it's been your boy neo xo and i'm out